space When we could rest, been waiting for the right day Like the right day ever comes, now it's Friday And nothing's changed So hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel It's me your girl Barista Neze and this is Neze Pepe Rempe. If Canada is known for one thing only, it will be for its extremely cold weather. Canada is the second coldest country in the world and my city is one of the coldest in the country. The winter here is typically described as brutal and temperatures can drop to as low as minus 35 degrees. That's freezing. Without being told, before the winter comes, there are plenty of preparations one must undertake to ensure that you are not caught up in this weather. And first on that list will be your winter gears. If you have lived abroad for a while with more experience, please share your experiences and your advice down in the comment section. So yes, we've got plenty of winter jackets, we have snow pants, and all the many clothing that would adequately prepare us for the winter. Here are our head warmers. We've got so many one of them and their function is to protect the head and the ears from cold. We have had instances of where people lost their ears due to cold, like the cold would literally make the ears break and fall off. That's crazy. So how you dress during the winter is very important. Some people even say that there are no bad weathers, only bad dressings, <laughs> right? So right here we have our shawls to keep our necks warm and nice. And I ensured that everyone has at least two. I don't even know if that is enough. We've got plenty of winter socks, these are just a few, and we have gloves and mittens. I hear that gloves are the light ones, while the mittens are the very strong ones. So we're going to start off the winter with the light ones, but as it gets colder, we're going to start wearing these very thick ones. These ones here are very light, and the kids will wear them when the days are not so cold. So when shopping for winter jackets, there are so many things one have to look out for, as I have learned and read. And first of them, you have to look out for what temperatures that this winter jacket can carry. Now, I don't know where this is written because I have checked everywhere the label and stuff and I cannot see where it is written to take minus 30 or to take minus 40. Please let us know in the comment section how you can check for that. So there are several types of winter jackets. There are these types that are very heavy but do not really absorb cold. This is one of them. You see the whole leather thing going on? It is so heavy but it doesn't really absorb cold. Then there is this one it might not be as heavy as the other one but look at it it has so many layers under it it has this four thing going on at the head and it is very very good for the cold this one i believe is a good one here, yeah, my daughter undoubtedly has the best winter collection in the house like i took my time to shop for Chinaya's winter gears. First, she's my baby girl. <laughs> and you know girls have all the prettiest stuffs in the market. Then secondly, she's still small, she can't talk. She might not be able to communicate like her brothers when she's feeling very cold. So I had to go all out to ensure that her gears are just, you know, beautiful and thick. Look at this one now. It has plenty of fur inside it. Look at the matching cap with the four thing going on inside this material helps to keep warm okay even the shoes have the same material inside of it and you know a baby girl has to dress too much <laughs> so yes look at this one this one is so pretty you can see the whole layer thing going on inside i made sure that the jackets are well layered i have learned to buy things more online since i came here but when it came to winter jackets i didn't buy any online so i bought the winter jackets physically and look at our princess learning how to work <laughs> well done baby so yes these are her snow pants these are like what she would wear inside after putting on her clothes before 
the winter jackets and I got a number of that. Winter jackets can be expensive but I tell it's a very good investment because it's something that you can keep using on and on. Yeah, this is us. Our winter gears are ready at set. So the next thing that we had to do was to take care of our car because the last thing you want is for your car to break down in winter it's terrible so we checked our car we did the servicing we changed the oil and of course we changed our tires so there are three kinds of tires here in canada we have the ordinary tires the regular one we have the all season tires that can be used during summer and winter like all season literally and we have the winter tires specifically made for winter so we got winter tires because winter tires give this very firm grip and it reduces the car's chances of skidding off the road and reducing the chances of accidents too so we had to invest in good winter tires another thing we did at the mechanics is to put this radiator lubricant or radiator water what is it called okay because if you put ordinary water in the radiator it will freeze during winter so this lubricant was made specially for winter it doesn't freeze like ordinary water so we checked the whole car we ensured that everything is good and fine and we will not be having issues the last thing you want is to start having accidents your insurance will certainly go up so we have to do everything within our own control to avoid that so after the car of course the next thing that we focused on is kitchen affairs i did a full video on how i prepared in my kitchen everything i bought how i prepared how i stored it but somehow unfortunately that whole folder went missing like crazy it's so painful because there was so much content in that vlog but anyways it's part of what we see as creators so of course i have my fridge and my freezer stocked up to the brim i got about four cartons of tomatoes and two cartons of pepper i blended them i got bags of onions cartons of chicken different types of cereals i did ram sharing i did cow sharing so here are my spices now guys eh, you see i only showed you guys what i cargoed i didn't show you guys what i came with because i also came with so many other things that you guys are not even aware of some of them are these spices you can see my pepper soup spice <laughs> i got the sachet pepper soup spice the one that is sold ready made and then my mother-in-law also got this one that she blended like she mixed the spices herself original and blended it in the market i'm going to be using these spices to make pepper soup <laughs> for us for the cold you know to flush out all the kata and cough and all the congestion in the chest so these are my spices and they're going to come in very handy during this winter so some of the other things i did yes i joined some ladies that killed a cow and which sh and we shared it into four or was it three and i picked one it was really much i got cartons of catfish and tilapia fish i bought lots of prawns fruits bread i bought so many things and by the time i was done with all this buying i realized that the freezer that i had bought was not enough like but the freezer that came with the house and the one i bought was not enough at all to accommodate everything so i had to reorder and guys oh nothing beats a system that works do you know that after using my freezer for up to two months i called them that i needed another one and they came and took the old one and brought me a bigger one can you beat that and all i had to do was just to pay up for the price difference so our new freezer has arrived and this one is quite big i believe that it will be able to accommodate every other thing that we have because we have bought so much now that my freezer is here i can now start cooking in bulk guys you know that my mother-in-law dried leaves for me bitter leaf ugu leaves or kazi or ha different kinds of leaves she dried it for me and guys would you believe that these leaves are still fresh as though it just came from the market today i just put the leaves in water and allowed it to soak in and the leaves came out bouncing like a newborn baby look at my obolo soup now 
eh? yummy and sumptuous proud and bubbling so i've made food and i want to serve my odogu his food you know Igbo guys don't play with their swallow at all so i've made my husband's lunch so let me serve my husband his lunch yeah i made obolo i made oha you guys know i came with a goosey and afang so i wanted to make something different so i'm gonna save the soup in these bowls i made stew in bulk too in fact i cooked a lot of things and i'm gonna keep them in the deep freezer so after kitchen affairs the next thing that i'm going to be doing is health taking care of health so here i am at a pharmacy they call it a drugstore here and i have come to buy some vitamins vitamin d especially so i got a number of vitamin d i got liquid i got drops i got syrup i got tablets i got for adults i got for every single member of the family so i hear that lack of vitamin d can cause low mood and even depression for new immigrants in canada immigrants that are already used to getting the natural vitamin d from sunlight what do you guys think is that true anyways while we were coming we got plenty of drugs plenty of medication lots of vitamin c but i don't know why it didn't occur to me to buy vitamin d so while coming we got vitamin c we got multivitamin we got pain relief medication for fever cold catar we got cough syrups and allergy drugs we got these nose drops for nose blockage and inhalers not like the asthma inhalers or this like vix rub inhalers for nose congestion we got nebulizing machine but unfortunately it didn't work here my husband said he's going to buy a step down because of the voltage difference our nebulizing machine didn't work here so we got rub we got a bony key you know i know how my kids react to cold Cold and I know how I manage them in Nigeria so I basically bought all their medication their first aid meds okay so aside from medication for cold and kata and all of that I also got purging drugs I got cream for rashes I got basically all the things that my family usually needs so when it comes to taking care of this segment of health there is one thing that we are yet to do and that is getting the flu vaccine I hear that when winter is coming people take their children to take flu vaccine what do you guys think do you guys do it do you like take flu vaccine every year before the winter starts do let us know down in the comments section so another very very important item that we bought in preparation for the winter is this humidifier now during winter the air gets very dry and it can irritate the nose and the lips before you know it your nose starts to bleed your lips crack severely and there would even be blood on your lips so the work of this humidifier is it turns water into vapor to keep the atmosphere humid and nice we got these at costco and it cost us about 40 something to 50 dollars i can't quite remember the exact price and we got two for now if there is need for more we will go back and buy some more so aside from constantly applying your lip balm on your lip and all of those other precautions these humidifiers are very very important just imagine waking up in the morning and seeing blood gushing out of your nose it's crazy that's how harsh the weather can be especially for people like us that are coming from very humid climes coming over here the change can be very drastic and your body might react to it very very harshly yeah so this is what they look like so you fill them with water and you put them at strategic places in your houses where you know that people usually stay this is how you put it on and if you like you can turn on the lights and this is how the water turns to vapor and fills the environment keeping it nice and conducive for you so right after the humidifiers the next thing that we invested in are these mobile heaters so the house that we stay in has a very good heating system it's a new house and the heating system works perfectly well but better safe than sorry isn't it we still had to re-fortify double fortify ourselves by getting these mobile heaters so if the weather gets very very cold we can also have additional heating in the house and we got two of them i have tested them and they work extremely perfectly well so after the heaters 
we got this is a foot mat or boot trays what was it called we got two of these boot trays yeah boot trays and they are basically for the winter boots so when you step into the house on the left you can hang your winter coats in the cloak room and you need to take off your shoes and keep into this because if you just walk in with the shoes the snow under your feet will mess the whole house up and who has power to be cleaning every second <laughs> definitely not me so we got two of these i don't know whether one would stay outside and one would stay in but we will be able to put their shoes outside i think the two of them would just stay inside by the door oh yes i also forgot to show you our winter boots we got a number of winter boots as well and we got this one also from costco when i went shopping for winter boots there are a couple of things that i put into consideration one is comfort i bought a size above everybody's size because trust me you don't want your winter boots to be so tight on your toes i also looked out for winter boots that are of good quality but are light like not so heavy that it seems like you're carrying a bag of cement on your leg though no. then another thing to look out for is the sole of the winter boots you have to ensure that it has a very good grip the floors really get slippery during winter and you might slip and fall if your winter boots do not have good grip then i also got this stuff this three in one stuff i saw it at the store and i liked it it's like a head warmer neck warmer mouth warmer three in one leaving your eyes open <laughs> <laughs> just your eyes so you don't freeze to that so guys yes that is how we have prepped and planned for our first winter in canada and yes you cannot be overly prepared no matter how much you prepare there might be one or two things that you might miss out on so if you're watching and you've been here longer and you have the whole winter experience do let us know in the comment section are there any things that we have missed what else do we need to buy what else do we need to put in place to fortify ourselves so we can be able to you know have a tolerable winter nothing they happen nothing they pa if you are coming don't let anybody scare you they make it look like winter here is the apocalypse itself like it's the end time itself but nobody they die we're all gonna survive it it is well <laughs> we're not gonna drop down and die are we we're gonna survive it with all these measures put in place and others that we will keep putting in place all right so these are what we have done thank you so much for watching if this is your first time here don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn on your bell notifications drop your comments in the comment section give this video a big thumbs up share it if you enjoyed it and stay glued because we have so much more coming your way it's me your girl barista neze nezungwa neze pepe rempe and this is neze pepe rempe i'll see you guys in my next one for now bye